Hi, this is JP from Nota Lights over Arkham. In this how-to tutorial, I'll show you how I store my Marvel Champions collection. So, let's get started. Marvel Champions comes in quite good boxes to begin with. So, if we look at the core box, it has quite good uh, insert for uh, storing your cards. Well, uh, at first I used the core box to store everything. Then when uh, Rise of Red Skull came out, I was happy to find out that there's also a decent insert here to store your uh, cards that won't fit anymore into the core box. And this same trend is continuing in the Galaxy's Most Wanted box and uh, as you can see I still have my uh, Galaxy's Most Wanted cards in the here because I haven't had the chance to get uh, new uh, deck boxes from my local shop so uh, because I don't want to have my collection in multiple boxes and those cardboard boxes when opened and closed uh, will wear down, so I decided to get myself a toolbox. So, uh, this toolbox is quite uh, hefty, I don't see it wearing down anytime soon. It can be locked, uh, so, well, not really a function I need because I rarely take this box outside of my home, but I have organized everything in this box and uh, uh, depending on which card type they are. So these transparent boxes hold the aspect cards. So for example here is the justice cards and uh, leadership cards and uh, protection and aggression. Then the basic cards are here. Then uh, these black boxes have uh, the heroes in them, so I only have the... Uh, this actually holds all the core box heroes, so Spider-Man, uh, Iron Man, etc. Then the next box has the first tier, uh, first cycle heroes, so Captain America, Miss Marvel, Thor, etc. And here we start to get the later uh, heroes. So there's uh, Ant-Man, Wasp, uh, Silver, uh, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch there. Then in these colored boxes uh, we have Green Goblin in this uh, greenish box. So the Green Goblin scenario is in here. Also the modular sets are in here. Uh, actually. Uh, only the scenarios are in here, so the uh, Risky Business and the Mutagen Formula. In this one, uh, I have all of the cards for the Wrecking Crew scenario. In this box, I have uh, the Core Box villains, so Rhino, Claw and Ultron. And in this box, I have all of the modular sets. So. When I get new modular sets, I see if I can still fit them here. But uh, I think from now on, because this is getting quite full, I will store the modular sets with the cards they came with. So for example, let's see, I really need to add labels to this. So uh, Kang the Conqueror here, I have the modular sets behind the villain deck or the villain card scenario cards, so if I can easily find the different modular sets that came with that. Also, I have this box for the uh, expansion box heroes, so here we have uh, Spider-Woman and uh, Hawkeye, so uh, I can also add Groot and uh, uh, Rocket Raccoon in here later when I uh, start adding more boxes into this 
Then uh, I have the Red Skull campaign here. So here are the later cards and also the... Uh, these are a bit messy, so usually I have the upgrades you can get in this box. Because there are three villains here and two villains here, so there's plenty more room in this one. And uh, that is basically what these boxes hold. I have this uh, just to have extra uh, Dragon Shield player mat sleeves at hand. So um, I sleeve everything in those. So uh, I usually buy extra these. So if I get the new hero or expansion, I have sleeves at the ready. But this uh, will. <laughs> Uh, this box is getting quite uh, full, so I'm also storing my by the same token token boxes here. So I have all of the tokens in this box. Then I have my uh, hero board in this, and I also have the giant hero board. And it doesn't fit in those, but it luckily fits in here. I think I might uh, remove these later when I need to get more boxes for the. Uh, coming expansions, so I need to get rid of these to get more room for the death boxes, but there are still some room in these ones, and I just need to get a couple of these to store all of the Galaxy's Most Wanted cards in them. Then uh, there is a lap here, and behind that, uh, this is quite unnecessary, but I don't want to throw anything away, so I made this binder for my uh, rule uh, with uh, these are the rule books. <laughs> Forgot about what they are called. So the rule books are in order here. I have also these uh, scenario pack rule pamphlets here, and then because I don't want to throw these away, I just made this uh, comic book kind of. Uh, solution to store these uh, big art pieces just to sometimes have a chance to look at them so there's still plenty of room to add more heroes into this binder and this uh, fits nicely here so I have all the rules and everything I need with me in this box so if I'm uh, going at a friend's place to play uh, I have everything in, in this box and also uh, some have asked how I store my big hero cards for Ant-Man and Wasp, so they are both here. So I have a slit here, which has enough room for these, because I am not bending these, so they are always flat like this. And um, they need a bit more room to store, so they snugly fit there, and that is basically how I store everything in this giant box. So, um, uh, this box is not even that expensive. I think I bought this for maybe 35 euros, but I think you can find it uh, from 30 to 40 euros from uh, hardware stores. And lastly, I want to show how I uh, store my uh, villain board, which is also from By the Same Token. So I made this, uh, this is the same uh, manufacturer that I had the tokens and the hero boards in, but a bigger version. So I just needed to remove all the dividers with pliers and I have this foam. So I have this uh, tucked here, so unfortunately this doesn't uh, fit into my uh, case anymore, but this can go with me also easily doesn't take that much space in a backpack or something like that and it's quite fast to uh, store away so also if you can find something similar and you have have the villain board this is one way to store it and it's quite sturdy and uh, locks well so it can easily go into a backpack or something similar or another bag that is basically how I store my collection. Uh, hope you guys liked this short video and got some ideas on how to store your own collection. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and until next time.